Now we're doing ordering whole numbers. Now we order whole numbers, we order numbers when we have more than two numbers in a list set or problem. Remember we compare with just two numbers and when we order numbers we're going to put them in order from least to greatest or from greatest to least. So ordering numbers is very similar to comparing numbers. Okay. So here are the steps to comparing numbers that we're going to need to review. You're going to line up the digits. Which place? The ones place. Okay. I've got these four numbers. 42,659, 43,695, 44,569, and 43,965. That is a mouthful. Okay, remember, you can add ghostly zeros when you need to. Do I need to add any zeros here? No, I don't have any blank spaces. Every single number has five digits in it, so I'm good there. Now I can compare the digits of each place value and begin at the largest place. When I say the largest place, all the way to the left. Whatever's on the left is my largest place. Okay, so I've got these fours and they are all the same, so that's not going to help me much, is it? Alright, then I'm going to come over to my one thousandths place and I've got a two, a three, a four, and a three. Now looking at that, I know that my 2 is going to be my least number, and the 4 is going to be the biggest number. Okay, the 10,000 digit is the same in all of the numbers, so we're going to go to the thousands place. Alright, so then we're going to stop in order at the place where the digits are different. Okay, so I know this is my smallest, and that's my biggest, because 2 and 4. Now I've just got to work on these two right here. You can even mark these off after you put the place over here. Okay, now I've got a four and a three. Then I've got to go to the next digit just on those two. I'm done with these two because I know what place they're going in. So now I'm going over here to the six and the nine. And the six is less than the nine, so that's going to be my two, my second biggest number. And then the third number is going to be the one with the nine in it. So that is the numbers in order from least to greatest. Now you have to be careful here. Sometimes it'll ask you for least to greatest. Sometimes it'll ask you greatest to least. You've got to put your numbers in order and then go back and check and double check that you are doing what the problem's asking you to do. Okay, so we're going to order these numbers from, what does it say? Greatest to least. Okay, my first step, line them up on top of each other using that ones place as a guide. I've got five digits, five digits, five digits, five digits. So I've got the same amount of digits in each number. It's not going to be a problem for me. I've got 32,456, 33,654, 32,654, and 33,546. Okay, so my next step, remember step two, is to start the biggest place value all the way to the left and work my way that way comparing the numbers. Okay, my first one got all threes. That's not going to help me, is it? Okay, let's go to the second one. I've got a two, a three, a two, and a three. Okay, so that helps me only to know that I know that my threes are going to be my greatest. They're going to be numbers one and two. And then my, the ones that have the two in it are going to be three and four because those are my least numbers. Okay, so for right now, we're going to look at just the three and go to the next number, which is a five and a six. So I'm looking for the greatest number between just those two numbers. I know they're my top two numbers because they have a three in the one thousandths place. Now I have to go to the hundredths place and I've got a six and a five. And my bigger number there is the six. So that's my greatest number. And then the five is my second greatest number. Now I can go back up here to my twos. So I've got a three in the ten thousands, a two in the thousands place. When I go over to this hundreds, I'm done with those two, let's mark those off so we don't have to worry about those. When I go over to the hundreds place, I've got a four and a six, okay? So I'm going greatest to least, so this is my bigger number, six is bigger than four, so that's going to be my third number and my fourth number in the sequence, okay? And then don't try to eyeball this. Boys and girls, do not try to look at this and say, oh, it's answer choice B down here. Go ahead, take the time to rewrite these numbers out. So my greatest number here is 33,654. Make sure you get it right. My next greatest is 33,546. 
and then we have 32,654 and 32,456. And that is how you compare four digits.